In our last lesson, we took a look at how to configure our VA. We've now done that, and now we're going to take a look at what the logs look like for requests that are passing through the VA and what sort of information we get. Now, we've already discussed this in previous lessons, but I wanted to quickly show you in our lab walkthrough what this would look like. So if we click on our active virtual appliances or VAs, we can see our VA that we configured in the last lesson, VA003, is now showing a status of green, which is okay. So we, we're we gonna focus on this particular VA for this demonstration. And we have this machine that I am currently on which is going to start to use this VA for DNS queries. And we'll see what information we get from Umbrella once we start doing that. So just to confirm with this particular device, you can see on the DNS, we're currently using one of my local DNS servers for DNS queries. So we're going to change this now to use our Umbrella DNS. So we'll change this to our VA. So if we just modify the network adapter here, we simply just change this to 208. And we OK on that. We're now using our newly installed and configured VA003 for DNS queries. All right, cool. So now if we say browse to a website, let's say um, internet bad guys, let's go to this website here, internetbadguys.com. And we can see that Cisco umbrella is in place and it's blocked our access to internetbadguys.com because it's a phishing threat. So we should have gathered and generated some logs now so let's take a look at our umbrella instance. So if we go across to reporting, we go to, to activity search. Now we've already discussed the benefits of adding a VA to an environment, and we're gonna see now the benefits of this now. So you can see, I can see the request right here. So you can see that it's being blocked and we can see the category is phishing we can see what we always knew was the public IP address. And more importantly now, as you can see, we can actually see the internal IP address. So you can actually see the IP address to which this request came from. So if we just quickly have a look and confirm that. We can see our IP address is 101.117. And if we go back to Umbrella, we can see 101.117 and you can also see other requests as well here. So we, like I say, we've discussed the benefits, but you can actually see now the benefits of using a VA because you get extra information such as the internal IP address to which it's coming from. We can also see with the identity as well is coming from our CCIE security lab in this instance. And we can also see the identity as well. So if we click on our full details, again, we just get that extra breakdown of information here, which is great. All right, so that's our VA installed, configured, and now in use, which is great. In upcoming videos, we'll see how we can get even more information about users and devices that are sending requests to VAs. But that's it for now, on to the next lesson.